Okay, quick video going through a question uh, we're doing in class on water falling down from a dam and hitting a turbine. Right, first thing we do is draw it like this. Here's our water, and we put on the things we know. We know that the height from there is 60 meters. We know the density of water. Why have I done that symbol there? It's because you lot are all sitting in front of me. Making me nervous. We know the density of water. Okay, it's 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed, and we know that the diameter of this turbine is 3.2 metres. Okay, the first question, what is the maximum speed of the water as it hits that turbine? Well, as soon as we're given height, it gives us a clue that we're talking about GPE, okay? So it's an energy problem. So kinetic energy at the top equals zero. We know the GPE is equal to MGH, okay? We're H in this case, so it's MG times 60. At the bottom of this, we're going to assume that the GPE is now zero, and that actually the kinetic energy, we're going to assume that all this kinetic energy, all this GPE rather, has been transferred into kinetic energy. Therefore, this is going to be equal to mg60. Well, if we take that, we know the formula for kinetic energy is a half mv squared, which is equal to mg times 60. M's cancel out, which is nice. The v's, we end up with v squared is equal to the two's up there. 120g, which means v is equal to the square root of 120g, which equals. Which equals, not third form, uh, 34.6 meters per second maximum speed of this water as it hits the turbine. Okay, so the second part of this question. Um, we now know that the volume of the water as it hits the turbine is 34.6 metres per second. The second part of the question is what volume of water hits the turbine in one second? Well, the turbine, well, they can't see it very well here, is circular. And that circle has a diameter of 3.2 metres. And in one second, we know this water is travelling at 34.6 metres per second. So in one second... A height of water equal to 34.6 metres is going to hit that turbine. So what we end up with is a tube of water, a cylinder of water, 34.6 metres tall by 3.2 metres wide. We then use, let me just make some space on here, I'll leave that for a little while. All we're going to do then is work out the, area, the volume of this tube. So we know that the volume of a cylinder, V, is equal to length times cross-sectional area. We know the length, in this case, is 34.6 metres. We know the area is pi r squared, and r is going to be equal to uh, half of 3.2, which is 1.6 squared. Gives us a total volume of... Happy riding with the calculator. 2, 7, 8... 0.3 metres cubed. So that's the total volume of water hitting this. Uh, question C is asking about maximum power output. Well, power output is just the energy transferred in one second. Well, I know the volume of this water. Um, I know the density of the water is equal to 1,000 kilograms per metre cubed. So I can therefore work out the mass of this water. The mass of the water will be equal to, because we know that mass is equal to uh, density times volume. I've got the volume, I know the density. I can equal the mass, it's a fairly, fairly simple problem. I can then work out the total amount of kinetic energy of the water because I have its velocity from earlier on. I now have its mass, total amount of kinetic energy, and I'll let you guys work this out yourselves. Um, the total amount of kinetic energy transferred in one second by this water to the turbine um, will give me the power output because power is energy in one second. Okay? Enjoy. <laughs> 